Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video, I'm talking about something that I get a lot of questions about. Something that happens to most of us, especially darker skin tones. I get this a lot from like um, people with a darker skin tone and it's a, I think it's more of a concern for darker skin tones, but it does happen to all skin tones. So it's, it's relevant for everyone. I am talking about hyperpigmentation. Finally, the video is here. I don't know why I've been putting it off. I always, Thought, like this is a video that I want to make but uh, I guess life please make sure to hit the thumbs up button the subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any videos because why would you want to do that I don't know I don't know answer for five marks why you'd want to miss a video exactly you don't have any any answers <laughs> you don't know the answer sway okay so hyperpigmentation what is it exactly like i said it happens to all of us and it's when you have darker spots like on your skin just some areas with you know that are a bit darker than your um than the majority of the skin on your face and this is caused by when melanin forms deposits onto your skin a lot of the time it is caused by sun damage your melanin now starts acting up because remember melanin absorbs the uv rays and then over produces more melanin to try and protect itself so I said it again, and I will say it again. Oh, I said it again, I'm guys English. I've said it before, and I will say it again. The sun, don't play with it. Don't play with it. You play with a pup, you get licked in the face. So, I saw that in a TV show, Braxton Family Values. I was watching clips, and that came up, so I had to use it. I don't know what it even means, but that's what happens with the sun. It's going to lick you in the face. Just, that was too much. I didn't need to do that. I really don't need to do that. I might edit it out. I might not. Depends how I'm feeling that day. So the best way, obviously, to protect yourself from hyperpigmentation is to use sunscreen. That is the simplest way, the best way. And just, you know, just limit your sun intake. You know, just don't do too much. You must obviously get outside, get those vitamins, you know. But sunscreen and don't do too much. So apart from, like, the sun damage and all that stuff, and other ways that you can get um, hyperpigmentation would be from scarring. So like even, even if you like cut yourself and stuff like when it heals, you might get like a dark patch, um, pimples, even if you're not popping them, but especially if you pop them, if you pop them, you'll get like a scar. But even if you're not popping them and they were just like bad acne situations, you might get a scar after they've left. And also you could just have like melasma patches. So there are lots of ways in which you could get like hyperpigmentation issues. But what we want to find out is how to get rid of them. Before we continue, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell if you haven't done so already. I'm going to keep reminding you throughout this video because I think some of you guys need to be reminded. So for me, I guess I've got like some hyperpigmentation like around my mouth area. I'm wearing some makeup so it might not be obvious. And then I used to have some like these sides of my, uh, my forehead. Just like one here, one here. I don't know what was going on. Um, and to be honest, they started, it started getting better when I started using sunscreen. Because I was obviously um protecting myself more so the rate at which they're getting darker wasn't as bad when i started using vitamin c it started to go down that was the first thing i started using for hyperpigmentation i didn't even know that i was doing that until like i found out some new things about skincare so this was a this was like way back um and then my skin was just getting brighter and nicer just okay it was just popping it was just it was Harlem shaking, it was jiving, it was salsaing, tangoing, all the dances. My skin was just starting to do the things that I knew it could do. I didn't know that it could do it, but I, you know, felt it. Products that you should use to get rid of hyperpigmentation would be, number one, obviously, like I mentioned earlier, sunscreen SPF. You know, I stay ready with my super goop. Uh, everyday sunscreen um always go for spf 30 and above don't play yourself with those spf 90s those are not real things um so yeah sunscreen very important don't go a day without sunscreen i don't care what the weather is outside you'll never regret wearing sunscreen facts and this one is great for darker skin tones especially when we're talking about hyperpigmentation because you won't get like white res residue you won't be looking like you know just ghosts and things like that. So you're good with super goop. And then the next popular product for um, hyperpigmentation would be a vitamin C product. So you can get this in terms of like a cream or like a toner. Um, 
I prefer like those toner type of products, like a liquid product, um, serums. I mean, I've shown this a lot on the channel. If you have subscribed, you know. This is the Kaza X Triple C Lightning Liquid. Um, it's a Korean brand. This has 20.5% pure vitamin C. So this is like a lot of vitamin C, especially for darker skin tones, you'll need a stronger vitamin C compared to like some other products that are like 5% and stuff. And this is a, an anti antioxidant. So remember vitamin C is a type of antioxidant. So this helps hydrate, it says hydrate, it helps illuminate, brighten the skin. It's fighting off um, pollution and all that stuff within the environment that make us like darker. Um, the only thing with vitamin C is make sure you wear sunscreen, especially when you're using such a strong one, because it does make your skin more sensitive to sun. But that is great because you should be wearing sunscreen anyway, right? So you want a vitamin C product that says absorbic acid, which is a form of vitamin C. That's the one that's the type of vitamin C that's gonna help um, brighten your skin. When I started using this, my skin really did like make a change for the better. There was a, a noticeable brightness and illumination and just glowiness that happened when I did start using this. I've used a few of these. The only thing that I struggle with this part is like you can't keep it for too long, so you actually have to use it regularly because it does oxidize and then when it does that, it becomes less effective and all that stuff. That's why I keep it in the box. So you have to keep it in like a dark area, so I just try to keep it all the way dark all the way down and also prefer to keep, keep it in the fridge to keep it from oxidizing. Really love this product. It's one of my all time favorite skincare products in my top five. It's everything. Another way to get rid of hyperpigmentation, other products to use will be your exfoliants. Um, so we're talking about chemical exfoliators because guys in 2020, we're not doing scrubs. We're not doing it. We're not doing, I don't want to see them. Don't ask me about it. We're not doing scrubs. We're not doing anything with like particles and stuff. Chemical exfoliators. Um, I've done videos on this, so make sure to watch those for more in-depth information. Mainly you want something with like glycolic acid, like this pixie glow tonic that you've probably seen on my channel. And glycolic acid is a chemical exfoliator that's so easy to find. There's so many products, drugstore, um, local products yeah, everywhere. You will find glycolic acid in no matter where you are. Um, I just really like this pixie product. It's affordable. It works. And when you start using it, you might get some, I don't want to say irritation, but it might tingle a bit. Don't worry, that's fine, it's totally normal. Um, but just play around with the one that works for you. Another one, this is a bit more, um, it's a bit weaker. This is the L'Oreal Bright Reveal Duo, what, what, what? Oh, guys, these names. Brightening Dual Overnight Moisturizer. So it's L'Oreal, so obviously it's available everywhere. This is like a night um moisturizer so one side has got hyaluronic acid serum the other side has got oh it's blocked up there we go the other side has got um glycolic acid to help exfoliate the skin what glycolic acid does or what an, a an aha so glycolic acid is a type of aha which is a alpha hydroxy acid and what ahas do is they help remove the ar ar uppermost, outermost, both, uppermost, outermost, same thing, layers of our skin. So just the fine lines, so it's removing like dead skin cells and stuff. So it's gonna help remove the dead layers of your um, hyperpigmentation moments. Uh, so it's gonna help remove those skin cells, you know, make way for new skin. So if you use it consistently, it really will help take away those layers of um, of skin that have sun damage, etc. Et Other types of chemical exfoliators could be that you could use for hyperpigmentation could be lactic acid, citric acid is also really good, and also um, your salicylic acid. Um, I would start with the glycolic acid and lactic acid first. Those are easier to find, and you'll see. In terms of hyperpigmentation, those will help you out more than your salicylic acid. Make sure to watch my previous videos on chemical exfoliate. Another type of ingredient to look out for for hyperpigmentation will be retinoids. So if you watched um, my previous video on retinoids, you know that they help with skin renewal and skin cell generation, um, collagen production and all that stuff. I talked about this, it is the Sunday Riley A+. High dose retinoid serum. So this will also help, you know, remove the skin cells with your hyperpigmentation and make way for brighter, better, clear skin cells. You know, just new ones, start afresh, 
just live a new life. That's what we want for the rest of 2020. We just want to live a new life. A better, smooth skin life with no hyperpigmentation. That's all I want. And then you've also got things like lightening creams. Uh, these, these are touch and go. So you get like ones that are okay, you know, um, with the right ingredients. The main ingredient that you need to look out for is hydroquinone and i hope i say that right and that is also the ingredient that is a bit illegal in some countries and obviously at um, certain levels it's also illegal and and there's a type of cream where if you put it on it's actually slowing down your production of melanin um so that's why they can be a bit tricky to find but they do work. If your hyperpigmentation is a lot, you certainly can use those products. The only thing is we're now getting into an ingredient that is used for like skin lightening and bleaching, you know, like people who want to make themselves lighter because of social standards and stuff. And, you know, this is a tricky topic to address because, I mean, do you, it's your body by all means. But don't feel the pressure to want to be a lighter shade or different shade from who you are because of social standards and social norms that is not a thing live your life boo live your best life the duck of the berry the sweet of the juice <laughs> yeah so um that ingredient can be abused but i mean you know yourself you know what you do and the products that you will find sold in proper stores like in proper drug stores and like dermatologists prescribed they will have enough you know of hydroquinone to do what it needs to do. It's not going to do too much. But when you're trying to buy things on the black market and do too much, that's when you're going to burn your skin up. And guys, you, you're really just hurting your skin when you do all that lightning stuff, like the hectic lightning stuff. So don't do that. Anyway, topic closed because we're getting into a different territory then. Mm -mm. Okay, so those are type of like products that you can buy. And then there's obviously like other procedures that you can look into like um, microdermabrasion where they scrape your skin then there's also chemical peels at a dermatologist um, you can also do like laser therapy and these are all just ways of trying to get new skin cells or a new layer of skin up and get rid of like old skin cells so it's pretty much all doing the same thing just in different ways in terms of skin types and you know like I mentioned hyperpigmentation happens to all types of skin colors and you will find a lot more problems with darker skin tones so some products or some treatments work better for different types of skin or different colors of skin lighter skin so if you are a bit more fair pretty much any of these will work like you know any any of these products if you're darker skin toned i would suggest looking at glycolic acid looking at a strong vitamin c like the one that i have this um, triple C lightning liquid also looking at more intense treatments like your chemical peels your microdermabrasion um, just because it is going to be harder to get the to get the hyperpigmentation off of darker skin you know see what works start off simple and then work your way up don't just start from no skincare from not washing your face to doing a chemical peel because that ain't like no just, you know, take it easy, one step at a time. One step at a time. Is that even a song? It sounds like Jordan, what's her name? The No Air Chick. One step at a time. There's no need to rush. Don't turn into flat. Jordan Sparks, yes. It's like learning. I can't sing, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just stop myself right there. Yeah, I hope that was helpful in terms of your um, hyperpigmentation issues. There's a lot more information that, you know, that's out there and the video will be too long, but that is just a summary of the products that you can use, products that will help and all that stuff. If you have serious issues, so just going to see a dermatologist instead of wasting your money on like buying and trying so many like products. Um, but if it's not too bad, start by wearing sunscreen and then, you know, try use some over the counter drugstore products. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Here's some other videos for you guys to watch that even touch on some of the ingredients that we talked about here. So, you know, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any posts. Remember guys, tap, don't rub. Cheers guys. Bye.